Sorry about the delay, everyone. There's a whole lot of craziness going on. So for those of you who don't know, there was a pretty horrible tragedy in our family at the beginning of the year. Um, we'll show a little bit more about it, but a car crashed into my mom's house, taking Dan's mom's life and very severely injuring my mom and Dan and obviously pretty much destroying the house. So anything car related is very sensitive for us right now. So if you've watched Jess Fam, you saw what happened with her brother and we were actually there when um, Wendy got the call. So it's just been kind of a rough week, but it's been getting a little bit better because now my mom is moving into her own new house again, but that's also been very hectic, <laughs> getting everybody ready and moved. First responders say the car went fully into a home. Metro Fire pulled two people from under that car. Now we're working to find out if the two people pulled out were inside the home at the time of the crash. So the insurance has had the house rebuilt and luckily Dan and Lori got it sold. Car went through this front yard and destroyed this house. It's like the city added these boulders. So clearly this is an unsafely constructed intersection if such uh, damage happened here. They're supposed to be at a distance that would prevent a car from coming but it's still difficult to have to tries to move back in here. I really couldn't imagine with all the horrible things that happened here, moving back in. And they're talking about even just standing here, hearing the cars roll by, would even make them flinch a little, I can imagine. To remember everything that happened here. I mean, that's the window where Lori got pulled out of right there. The house has been repaired, restored, ready for a new family. It's been um, worked on to make it safe from anything else happening. I'm happy that it's going to have a new home for a new family. So, over here you can see that everything looks back to normal. So yeah, we're ready to move on, get our new home next to the family. Yeah, and, uh, yeah. future grandbaby yeah. will be dropped off on the regular. Yeah. <laughs> for Yay. Future grandchildren, which we hope wow. are plenty. <laughs> They're right here. That's what we call Moving on. It's good that this place will give rise to new, a new family. It's a nice, you know, two kids, mm -hmm. right by the schools. So yeah. Can, right. Uh, and they seem like a very nice couple. Couple of what? I don't know. Sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh no, that stays in. He'll <laughs> be here all day. Uh, uh, no, be here actually. All day. <laughs> it's a good we can smile and move forward. How's it going? Good. What am I on TV? <laughs> You're on like phone camera. No. Roxy, how are you doing? Well, I'm having to be the emotional support animal for our emotional support animal. <laughs> How's it going, Midding? Good, just selling this, this awesome TV now for that awesome TV. Wait, everyone eating can watch TV, and Lori over there who's slaving away in the kitchen making <laughs> this awesome news can also watch TV. I was, I was fixing my, my pain patch. <laughs> my ankle's still healing. <laughs> ah, pain patch. It's starting to look put together. <laughs> Does that look good? <laughs> yeah, that's perfect. Nailed it. Or screwed it. Sounds like there's a battle out there. What? That's <laughs> very You guys get some weird neighbors. <laughs> that's what they're saying about us. <laughs> So we just helped Lori and Dan moved in to their new house. Yay. We're so happy for them. It was a long time coming and very well deserved. They definitely mm -hmm. deserve this awesome new house. What do you think? I think so. <laughs> Aww. You guys. 
This is Jessica C. This is volunteered <laughs> to sit as the official walker. I get a table, that's all. Amanda, are you okay? I mean, I'm chilling. And <laughs> Jessica, are you okay? <laughs> People come from all over the world to go to this hospital. Yes, isn't wow. that so Well, it's cool. good to know you're going to a literal better place than this. You're moving <laughs> yeah. up in the world, Grammy. Moving on up, yeah. Ready, Rosie? Hi. How are you? Uh. What are we about to do? First boot camp. So we got this new thing that's supposed to help us prepare for birth. It should be very exciting, I hope. It says to be prepared because it does show a live pregnancy? Birth. Birth. Oh, pregnancy. this is a live pregnancy. <laughs> that's not so bad. A live birth will probably be a lot There's more intense. probably at least six of them. Six births? Yeah, like different stages throughout. They probably like show it and like talk something <laughs> about, about like whatever they were referencing oh. during that time. We, we'll we can out. take breaks, right? We yeah. don't have to watch all six in a row? No. <laughs> There's I don't ten, know if I could do that. Ten two-hour sessions. And even within those two hours, it's broken up into like 30-minute videos. And so we watch that. Got it. So I don't have to sit here for two hours and watch women give birth for two hours straight. It's, I, it's beautiful, but it's, it's a lot of birth for, for two hours. <laughs> That's all. Let's get started. Looks good. Oh, we get this book. Oh, also we get this book. So yeah, 10 sessions. This is like the companion book for the Netflix of preparing for pregnancy. Earlier, Amanda told me that this was going to be two hours long. And since it's called a boot camp, I thought it was going to be a two hour long workout. I love to work out, but I was like, I don't know if that's safe for you. Check with the <laughs> midwife to make sure that you can work out for two hours straight. She was like, no, we're going to learn stuff. And I was like, okay, I'm down for an educational boot camp. Let's go. <laughs> what is this first one? The first class is Why Natural Birth? So, find out. And so, but we do reference the workbook a lot. So we are in the middle of our birth boot camp and it's, it's very informational. I'm uh, not traumatized, but just very uh, informed. And it's shocking all the stuff that happens. We're learning a lot. Let us know if you have any questions. We're about to do some worksheet questions right now. How do you feel about working towards an unmedicated birth? I feel very strongly about it. I already felt like it. How about you? Yeah, I mean, I already have a hard time with needles, IVs, and being wired up. So that's always tricky, especially knowing how much goes into an epidural. You know, I always just thought it was a shot that goes in your back, but it's, there's a lot, a lot to it. Um, but I definitely like knowing about it because if we really need to have one, then I'm glad that I feel informed and know what to expect and it's not gonna be this rush of learning about it in the moment. How do you envision your birth at this point in the pregnancy? I envision it at the <laughs> midwifery, our birth center. Um, we'll probably drive up there, they'll admit us and we'll have a healthy, happy baby. Yeah, we just have to have a good plan and inform everyone in it and know what like plan B, C, D is. Yeah, and plans have, A, B, C, and D. Just have all the information D. ready yes. to go. Yeah, we don't we want, yeah, we'll have a plan. If that doesn't go through, we'll have a plan. And if that doesn't go through and so on and so forth. Who is supportive of your choice to have a natural birth? Definitely Jessica. <laughs> Jessica is definitely the one who first introduced us to this whole natural birth thing. We watched The Business of Being Born, which is an awesome documentary, with her. And uh, she just had a lot of good information. And something that this birth boot camp always brings up is making evidence-based choices rather than being subject to common practice. Births, 90% of them do certain things like whatever they are. And we, don't, we want to actually make informed decisions based on evidence, scientific evidence, rather than just do what people say we should. Everyone should be supportive of whatever your decision is. It's your baby, you're gonna make lots of decisions along the way. So this first decision, you know, I think anyone should be supportive of. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> Ready? Go. Hey, so Dane and I are going on a date night and I thought it'd be really great if I could wear my pre-pregnancy pants or just normal pants in general. So I didn't spend, I didn't wanna spend a lot of money on new clothes while I was pregnant 
But I found this really cool thing. It's called the Mayband. So it allows you to wear your pre-pregnancy pants all throughout pregnancy, postpartum, with just this elastic and Velcro. So it comes in a lot of different colors, so it can match your jeans, your black pants, white pants, whatever kind of options that you would want to have. Made of cotton and spandex, so it's really comfortable. It also comes in different sizes, so small, medium, and a large one. It all depends on the size between your front two belt loops, so that's what you'd be measuring. So you stick it through the belt loop and you Velcro it, then you bring it on over to the other belt loop and you Velcro it, and then you are all set <laughs> Ray. and ready to go. <laughs> Ray wants to try on pants too. Yeah, you can't even tell you're wearing it under your shirt. Nope, you can't tell. The way it's nice and flat. I know I'm not very big yet, but it would just lay right under your belly and be all good to go. I'm really excited to see how it's going to feel throughout the night, so I'll let you know on my activity, whether I'm sitting, it should be nice and comfy, but I'll let you know at the end. Oh, we're dancing! They're also a really cool organization. They donate a dollar for every May band sold towards a charity at the end of the year. They also give an educational scholarship to a studying mom every year, which is really, really neat. Let's go see how our date night is. Here at one of our favorite places for date night. It's Oklahoma University. They're actually closed inside because in California, it looks like restaurants can be open, just not inside. They can do outdoor dining, which is what we're gonna do. And we like the patio anyways. It's a lovely day. No smoke today. How awesome. And our favorite part, the churro sundae, because we miss Disneyland churros so much. This is the closest we can get. Hey, how's your belly, by the way, with the belly band? Good. Comfy how's it feel? I'm ready to go. I know, you can't even tell. Can yeah. you tell? Can I tell I'm wearing it? No, not really. That's good. So it's that yeah. comfy? Yeah. Okay, bye. Thank you so much for watching. Sorry again that the video was delayed, but we're happy that you guys stuck with us and are still watching and stayed subscribed. See you guys on the next video next week, Tuesday at 6 p.m. next week. Please make sure you already subscribe and have your notifications on and don't forget to follow us on Instagram, amandane underscore dance. There's a link below in the comments. We'll post a lot of Instagram exclusives such as some fun recipes that we've been making and some more updates throughout the week. Oh, and when we get to 10,000 followers, Evelyn, our unborn baby, will do a magic trick. <gasps> but only, and only when we get to 10,000. So help us out.